se pina poco a buscar de mí. In Paris, Eurico, brilliant. Women home, don't get no dirt on each. Listen to Sports Station. You don't have to be in Boston to listen. Download the Sports Hub app where you get your app and listen anywhere. Fish for the shark. Double the nose. Han dedicado sus carreras a curar enfermedad.
Dr. Betty are going to be coming in at 3 o'clock, and at 3.35, so shortly after their arrival, they'll have your tickets to go check out Three Doors Down. They'll be at Bold Point Park a week from tomorrow, October 1st. So if you want to snag tickets with them, that's one of your last opportunities. We do have three more on air tomorrow, 7.35 with Paul and Al, 12.35 during your workforce lunch with me, and then again at 3.35 in the afternoon with them as well. So good luck. Bonus chance to win at 94HJY.com. This report is sponsored by News Nation. Now, for Storm Team 10 forecast. Temperatures in the mid and upper 70s per hour Thursday. A muggy day, some breaks of sunshine at times, but also isolated rain showers. Gusty winds from the southeast over 20 miles per hour. Staying humid tonight with a low near 70. Then another chance for showers and thunderstorms on Friday as a cold front very slowly crosses the area. A gradual clearing takes place on Saturday. I'm Storm Team Tag Meteorologist Anthony McCarry. All too often, the media are ignoring the everyday heroics of our policemen and women. Well, that changes on News Nation. Dan Abrams and his live PD sidekick Sticks are returning to primetime on Dan Abrams Live. Premiering Monday, September 27th at 8, 7 central on News Nation. We're on the show, but I want to hit it for everybody out there who has been hearing all about how much kids are in danger and it's not safe to go to school and they got to wear masks. This stat is pretty mind-blowing when you actually look at it. More kids have been shot in Chicago alone this year. 302 of them than have died of COVID ages 17 and younger this year. 302 kids in Chicago alone shot. 214 kids nationwide in a country of 330 million have died with COVID. Most of those kids, unfortunately, had major health conditions, Buck, such that COVID was not the direct cause of their death but was a contributing factor along with many other comorbidities. So, think about this for a minute. If you are out there, if you've got a friend, and I know a lot of you do, kids are they're terrified to have their kids in school, they're terrified to have them walking around without masks. In Chicago alone, you were nearly 50% more likely to be shot if you were a kid just in Chicago than you were to die with COVID. This is a 